Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. If you're new here, welcome, so happy that you're here and if you're not new, how's it going? Today we are learning a song that has been highly requested and you guys are always commenting, DMing me on Instagram to teach this song. So that's what we're doing today. Today we are learning Dancing With Our Hands Tied from the Reputation Tour, the acoustic version. I have watched the clip of this song from the Reputation Tour movie, like I can't even tell you how many times. I've watched it, but I knew as soon as I heard her play this on the Reputation tour that I needed to learn it. I literally, it's one of my go-to songs to play because I freaking love it. It's so fun to play. If you want to download the tab that I wrote for this song, the link is in the description box down below. You can print it, you can download it, it has all the chords and everything you need. And after you watch the tutorial, you can head over to my play along channel where I post a full demo of the song so you can play along with me with the chords on the screen and it's just lovely. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so for this song, she plays it with a capo on the second fret, but if you need it to fit your vocal range more, you can move it up or down. I usually move it up to the fourth fret to sing it because I have like a higher voice, but we're just going to play it how she does. So we have the capo on the second fret, and the chords you're going to need are classic Taylor Swift chords. We've got F sus2, and then we've got C, A minor or you can play A minor 7. She plays both of these chords in the song. I'm probably gonna play A minor 7. And then lastly, we have G sus 4. Now the acoustic version of this song is obviously pretty different from the studio version. I feel like the studio version is faster and the acoustic one is more laid back and slow and just different vibes. So first I'm just gonna teach you guys like the basic strumming, the basic like chords and everything. And then I'm gonna show you what Taylor Swift does to kind of make it more intermediate. She does some hammer-ons and pull-offs, some different strumming patterns. So first we're just gonna go over the basics. For the intro, it's going going to be F, A minor, and then G sus4, and then she gets kind of right into singing it. When she's performing live, she usually is playing the song while she's talking about it, so she just kind of like has it in the background, and this is what she's playing. She's playing F for two measures, and then you got A minor 7, G. So the basic strumming pattern is going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, for the F. So one more time, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then when you switch to the A minor and the G, it's gonna be a little different because they're gonna get like half a measure for this. So you're on A minor, you're gonna go down, up, down, up, and then to G, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So let's start from the top, we'll go from the F, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's going to be your basic strumming for the whole song. So if you are a beginner, this would be a really great place to start with this song, just memorizing that strumming pattern, making sure you've got that good before you add all the fancy stuff to it. Now Taylor Swift is interesting because when she performs acoustically, like marches to her own beat, she will switch up the strumming like literally all the time. She does not follow one strumming pattern like throughout the entire song. And I've watched a lot of videos of Taylor Swift playing guitar. So that's going to be your intro and your verse one. So I'm just gonna sing a little bit of the verse so that you can see how it sounds. So we've got F. So that's 
the basics there. And now for this part, the only thing I think Taylor Swift does differently off of the rails is when she switches from A minor to G, she does this weird like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like she jumps chords halfway through strumming. So what she does, it's, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So it's gonna be like this. So she kind of like on the up strum, she will switch to G sus4 instead of staying on the A minor 7. So how it's gonna be is when you go to the A minor, you're gonna go down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. And that's how that's gonna be. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. And if you're a beginner, don't worry about it. That's just for my people who want a little extra spice. For the first one, you're going to go through that chord progression four times. So the F, A minor, G, and then it gets to the pre-chorus, which is going to be the same. Still, it's going to be F, A minor, G. So it's the part where it goes. So that whole part's going to be the same thing as the verse. And then we get to the chorus where things get fun. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but I'm going to show you the basic version and then I will show you the hammer on and pull off part where she's like... The strumming is going to be the same basic one from the intro. The only thing that's going to change in the chorus is there's going to be a C in here. So the first line, it's going to be F, A minor, G. And then on the second line, it's going to be F, C, G. And then for the next two, it's just going to be A minor again. So it only switches to C that second round through the chords in the chorus. So I'll just show you that really quick. So we got G, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, up, down. So I'm just going to play those first two lines for you with the basic strumming, so. While we were dancing, dancing So that's the basic way of doing it. Now, to add these fun hammer-ons for this song. Now this took me quite a bit of practice to get, so if you don't get it right away, don't worry about it, just keep going. But essentially, on the F, you are going to be pulling on and off this note right here on the first fret, second string, your first finger is gonna be kind of like jumping on and off. So, for this part, it's gonna be down, up, down, up, down. You're gonna take your first finger off, up, and then you're gonna put it back on and do up again. So you're gonna go, start from the top, down, up, down, up, down, take it off, up, put it back on, up again. So I'll go over that one more time slowly. So that's that little basic part where it's, you get that sound where it's like, and then you go up, down, up, down, up to finish off the measure. So, all together, we got down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. I hope I explained that well enough. If you have questions, leave them down below. And then for the A minor and G and then the C and the G in the chorus, it's just gonna be the same strumming. Don't worry about staying too closely to the strumming pattern because I swear to you, if you were playing this song, you she's just like jamming out and you kind of just like feel the rhythm. And that's basically what she does this entire song because she's jumping from chord to chord, like not really having a, one consistent strumming pattern. So I'm just gonna sing a little bit of the chorus with the new hammer-on thing. Um, it's not really a hammer-on because you're not like, you're just kind of like adding it on to the chord. Anyways. But we were dancing. So 
So that's going to be your chorus. Verse 2 and the pre-chorus are going to be the same as the first verse and pre-chorus. We've got the chorus and then we hit this instrumental. This instrumental break is only for this acoustic live version because Taylor Swift likes to give herself a little jam out break where she just like shreds and she just like fail the music. Um, but she starts out quietly so she ends the second chorus and it goes while we were dancing. So she's going to play F, A minor, G four times. And on the last time, she stays on the G and like walks back to the microphone and then goes into the bridge. But for this part, feel free to absolutely jam out. You're going to start slow for the first two and then on the second two, you build it up again. When she's building it up on the third or fourth round of the chords, she is just like going up and down like this, like. Feel free to do that. And on the last G, she just stays there, strumming quietly, and then she goes into it. I kiss you as a last word. And for the bridge, it's going to be the same thing, F, A minor, G. She's gonna play this quietly for pretty much the first part of it, and then on the very last two lines is where she like builds it up. I'll just play the second part, so she goes. If I could dance with you again, I'd kiss you as a lights went out, swaying as a little burned out, I'd hold you as the water. When, what she does for that part is she down strums when she gets to the A minor 7 and the G. So she goes, I'd hold you with the wild if I could dance with you. You just kind of go along with the lyrics. Another fun thing I love, so she does that first line and on the second line she like cuts it and it's so fun. So on the second line with the, with the C she goes, yeah we were dancing. So feel free to do that. You just do C, cut, and then do G, cut, back into it. And the rest of the time she just finishes off with normal strumming, you know. And that's the end. That is the whole song. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions or anything, comment down below. Go check out my tab if you want to see like the chord charts and everything. Hop over to the play along channel and jam with me. And don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.